They're not allowing him to catch the ball out on the perimeter. So good setup, back cut, and two free throws. Brandon Rush, the Big 12 freshman of the year last season. As you mentioned, the first freshman ever to lead the team in scoring and rebounding. And when you think of that in the context of all the great players that have come through the doors here. Last year, Rush. Yeah, last Good. year he shot almost 50% from three, and they had to beg him to shoot. This year he's not knocking them down from deep as, as he had as a freshman. USC trailing now by four. Batted away by Wright. And he got a little anxious, overzealous, and turned it back over. Well, he looked behind him, see where the pressure was coming, and when he did that, he lost the ball. But Can't fault the hustle, Fred. Mm -hmm. Kansas right now, if they break this game open, it's going to be on the defensive end. As one of my favorite announcers always says, that's an error of commission. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rather those than omission. <laughs> You're paying attention. <laughs> I'm listening to you. Under nine minutes to go. Spreading it out now in a kind of 1-4 formation, and now they turn it over. Lewis gets it back. Loose ball. And Young comes up with it. They got a reset on the shot clock. Inside, Jai. Gibson with the putback nice. and got it to fall. Oh, great head fake. Gibson waited for three Jayhawks to leave their feet. When they went down, he went up. So far, friend, you'd have to say that USC would have to be pleased with where they are right now with about eight minutes to go in the first half right on the baseline. Push off. Jackson got away with it. Robinson from outside. This is right up Tim Floyd's strategy in terms of making these guys make jump shots. Rush going to try it. And they come up empty on three attempts. And a great strip by Robinson. Talked about his quick hands, Mark. Two on one. Rush rejected and fouled. And he comes down hard. Now, I and don't Galloway think it was made a play the on the ball. Yep. He made a play on the ball. Played on the ball, and when Rush left his feet, he got hit on the arm. Nothing easy. You got to come with your strong stuff. We'll be back with more after this. Sports sedans have come to be regarded as purely machine. But when design functions as a display of human skill and craftsmanship, rather than simply mechanical precision, the machine can evoke emotion. It can shape how you experience the road. It can go beyond machine. The all-new G is here. And it's from Infinity. College football's heroes of the past welcome a new member to their exclusive club. Saturday night, one college football player will transcend greatness and become a legend. Will it be the Buckeye senior leading the nation's top team, Notre Dame's prolific passer, or one of the sensational tailbacks? The Heisman Trophy presentation presented by Nissan, Saturday at 8 on ESPN, followed by Ali. This is the best time of the year. And it's only at your Toyota dealer. It's Toyota Fog. The perfect time to save on many of the Toyotas you've been wishing for. This is your opportunity for year-end savings. You don't want to miss it. The Toyotathon sales event. Hurry. Time is running out. Dr. Van Blericum's dental office is expanding, and we are excited to announce that Dr. Neely Newkirk has joined our practice. With our growth, we are now able to expand to evening, Friday, and Saturday hours. We offer a wide variety of services for people ages three and beyond. Dr. Newkirk has joined our family, and we would like to help your family with their dental needs. Call today for your appointment at 843-2636. Look at Tony Gonzalez of the Kansas City Chiefs. All-pro tight end. Had a couple of touchdowns yesterday, albeit in a losing cause. Former great basketball player with Cal. And Cal played some power forward along with uh, tight end. There's some other members of the Chiefs. Gonzalez, interestingly enough, right now, I remember, uh, <laughs> I think it was about three years ago, was given a tryout with the Miami Heat and uh, played in their summer league up in Orlando for a little bit. And uh, 
guys were beneficiaries of a few trips in the Tony Gonzalez right, limousine. Right. Yeah, that's right. He told you that Pat Riley <laughs> soon cut him after that because nobody was getting any sleep. <laughs> Training camp's not supposed to be fun. Rush at the free throw line. A 48% free throw shooter on the season. Now remember this, Mark. Brandon Rush was at the Chicago pre-draft camp after his senior year in high school. He enrolled at KU late in August. People thought he was going to leave after his freshman year, but he has stayed. Mild sophomore slump. You got to think it's as much mental as anything else. Look at the field goal situation. USC, four of ten Kansas with many more attempts. This jumper short from the baseline from Lewis, and Lewis gets it right back. And we have a player who's injured, Sasha Khan, holding his face. Tim Floyd is asking in a polite way to. He's asking Dwight Lewis, why did you shoot that basketball? I think he's also on the officials. <laughs> Gibson to inbound, USC basketball, seven and a half to go here in the first half. USC playing its first road game of the season after six straight at home and so far putting themselves well. Gibson from the elbow. And he knocks down the jumper. Shot it right in Wright's grill. And it's a four-point ball game. Check that two. They sink in on Wright, force him to kick it out. Rush, not sure if he wanted to pass it or shoot at that time, Brand. And, and Mark, there's an opportunity for Brandon Rush to shoot the three or take the one dribble pull up. He goes into the lane and he he shoots that what looks like a runner, but he was really trying to pass it. And this team is looking for someone to take over offensively. There is too much deferment on the offensive end of the court. Gibson now with possession for USC. The Trojans with a chance to tie it at 19. Mark, without a pure point guard, USC's ball handlers dribble the ball way too high. On the baseline, Lewis got rejected, going to the cup. And Chalmers is fouled on the play by Stewart. Roderick Stewart. The USC half of the twin equation. Well, the defense is not the issue for KU right now. Right now, because of, what, because of the way Tim Floyd is playing that defense packed into the lane, he is allowing Robinson and right to shoot jumpers anytime they want. Rush is the guy that needs to step up and start to put shots up. You can see Russell Robinson during that last sequence implore his teammate, hey, shoot it, don't mm -hmm. pass that shot up. Meanwhile, Chalmers, a 67% free throw shooter on the season, knocks down the first in the bonus. Well, it's a maddening problem to have if you're Bill Self because there's a lot of talent out here offensively. But you no, see nobody willing to take over the the workload. Kansas a perfect six for six from the strike. Boy, Kansas really trapping well on that pick and roll, friend. Ball knocked away from Cromwell, and they turn him over. Kansas forcing the turnover. All of their ball handlers dribble that ball way too high. There you go. Rush, no hesitation, and that's the result he seeks. And you know what? It wasn't because he took the shot or made the shot, it, and he's getting a standing ovation. It tells you something about the fans and how they react to a young man they want to take over the game. And Stewart quiets the crowd here with a three ball, and the USC back in it, down by just five. Stewart made 53s a year ago, 44%. Again, you don't want to give him any space. Chalmers, nice speed inside to Khan. Tipped up, no good. Rebound, USC and Cromwell. Quick outlet to Galloway. Galloway, a tall point guard, feeds it off to Lewis in the corner. And Stewart tripped up and foul, going to be called against Wright. Now that's a good call. Wright's contact put Stewart at a disadvantage. Official right on the play. But it's interesting, Mark. You know, we, Darrell Arthur is sitting on the bench right now with two fouls. He has been the leading scorer for this Kansas team as a freshman. Sasha Khan got the ball three feet from the basket. He turned it into a five-footer. 
You see Dar Arthur on the bench uh, taking advantage of the absence of C.J. Giles, who was mm -hmm. dismissed from the team several weeks ago back in November, right around Thanksgiving. Uh, Giles uh, right now working out in Seattle and under the tutelage of uh, Jerome Percy, interestingly enough. And Percy letting him know, I spoke with him today.